everyone doing today? Good. How's everyone doing today? So I gotta say, thank you, Sophia, for an amazing introduction. But sometimes I feel if you're gonna give an introduction, like he's the most authentic, <laughs> down to earth dude. He's like, yes, I am the most authentic and the most down to earth dude. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Sophia. But I also want to thank all, obviously, all the sponsors for you know making this event good for you as well as just each and every one of you getting out of work today to come here and, and talk about honesty, right? But overall, the questions everybody asked when I first got here, and they were saying, like, what is it that you do? Like, what is it that I do? And for me, I do multiple different things, but I think the most important conversation we can have, instead of asking what you do, is actually have a conversation with Andy over there in the corner. And he was talking about Lex, someone that works here, um, high up here. And he says, instead of asking what you do, maybe we should be asking instead is, how do you spend your day? So as I spend my day, and, and what I do is, before here, I was an athlete, right? That's what I did beforehand. And then I worked in education. And then now what I do in the mornings is, I, in the morning, I'm doing educational consulting in China. And then after that, I work on a clothing company. And then I also have been traveling all around the world, helping people craft and tell their stories in authentic ways. And so as we're here right now today, in terms of honesty, one of the things we're gonna be doing here is to help you better understand yourself. And I think the theme does extremely well when they talk about honesty in terms of building connections, is how do you use your honesty to connect with other people, right? And I've been traveling all over the world and working with CEOs and Fortune 500 companies. I've been working with celebrities, and athletes, and students helping them craft their stories, right, in a strategic way. <laughs> Self-promotion. But, um, <laughs> but I learned a lot along the way. Okay, so the first thing is, what, does anybody remember the first thing I said when I came here, the first question? How are you, right? Who said how are you? Who said that? <laughs> Who's like, <laughs> what's your name? Jason, stand up. What is this? This is supposed to be a talk. I'm not supposed to be part of this. Hello, Jason. How you doing? Hey, where are you coming from? Uh, how do you mean? Like, which one location, or? He's a smart one. <laughs> uh, where are you born and raised? I was born and raised in Texas. What part? Uh, born in Houston, raised in Dallas. OK, born and raised in Dallas. And name is Jason. Jason. Stand right here. Yeah. Who else said something? I feel like you're just looking at me and we can have a conversation with you. I do move. So like, who's she looking at? Who's she looking at? What's your name? Elizabeth. Breathe. That's what you do is breathe. Yeah, first thing you do. Okay, so stand up. Stand up. So when you said, did you say good as well? When I asked ideally what you do in the mornings? I mean how your day is today? She made eye contact. She made eye contact. Okay, so good. So when, when, when Jason said good, what did he mean? I think that's the default answer that you give. The default so answer? OK. Well, maybe Jason may know what you were thinking, <laughs> OK? So wait a second, let me take it. All right, so Jason. So when, when Elizabeth said she was good, do you know what she meant? Uh, I suspect that she was feeling in a good state and not particularly wanting to say more than that. Okay. Right. Well, thank you. Say, thank you both. <laughs> Very simple. Right? The reason why I say that is we go through life each and every day. Right? And good is usually what we say. And sometimes we feel as though we're having a conversation. But we're not really saying anything. Right? We do this each and every day. So one of the things is, as everybody here is today, we're here to help you find your why, right? That is our goal, to help you find your why. And I have a particular style in which I speak, um, and that is called um, rambling. <laughs> Meaning that um, I usually talk, and then my ADD will kick in, and I'll go off topic for a second, but I promise that I will bring it all back in to make it make sense. 
And if not, there's going to be a satisfaction guarantee. You will all get your money back and a full refund if it does not work out. Okay? But what we're going to do is do that right here at this moment. So everybody should have a piece of paper in front of them and a pen. Let me know if you do not have something to write with, and someone from the Creative Mornings team will get that for you. So, okay. So keep your hand raised if you don't have something to write with, or if you do not have uh, a piece of paper. So as we're going through this process, right? And I've been lucky to travel all around the world being able to connect with individuals. But on a sheet of paper in the, in the long ways. What I want you to do is just clear your mind. Right? Don't think about the end goal in mind, but just kind of be present and trust the process. What I want you to do is just list down the row, you can do it in, uh, on two sides, of things that are important to you. Or a little bit of who you are. So it could be family. And if it's family, maybe there's particular family members. Use their names, like Kevin, or Tom, or Sarah. Um, it might be your profession. It might be mottos, like mine is live life to the fullest. All right, so what I'm going to do is just on the list, just write down in a column things that are just important to you. All right, or things that make you, you. And we're going to give about two minutes to, to, to think about that and write that down. And if you're writing, you're doing it correctly. But just in a column. It could be your identity, it could be like I'm a woman or a man. Your hobbies, activities. See if you can get to like 15 or 20. And just list it out. Might have been a, a memory that you had. You can even think about the future, right? Where you want to be, impactful moments. What makes you, you? List it out. Okay, so now if you have your list, what I want you to do right now is I just want you to just count how many items you have on your list. Okay. Kind of think about it. Why did you put down? Did you put down? So as you go to this next step, what I want you to do is I want you to cross off half the list. OK? I'm going to give you some rules. I'm going to give you some rules to this. Like, what? That's not cool. Right? What I want you to do is I want you to cross off the list, half the list. And what it is is just it might be something that you connect with least or less. I mean, they're all you. Don't worry. We're not taking them away from you. Right? But I want you to cross off half the list. But I do want you to do it. I do want you to mark off, though, the first one you marked off and also the last one. I just keep a note of, of that. So whatever you have, mark off, cross off half the list. And here's a rule. If you have like family, if you have like three siblings on there, you can't be like, well, I'm going to cross it all off and then add family. You can't do that. Right? You can't consolidate. Right? So whatever you have, you got to keep it there. Don't consolidate. Right? I'll give you about 30 seconds to do that. Right? No, no. So just keep a, keep a mind of what you, the first one you crossed off is and the last one. But I want you to mark off half the list. But just make a mental note of the first one and the last one you crossed off. So just to think, as, we're, as some people are finished, did anybody mark off like the very first thing that they put on their list? So anybody that, so this is it, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. Okay. All right. So this is the next step. Okay. As, as we're going through this process, you have a partner next to you. Right? And it can be in twos, it can be in threes. 
but obviously there's some things on your list that you may not be comfortable to necessarily share. But I just want you to just read what's on your list, right? And just say, here's what, like, what was the process that it took you to mark off some of those items? And what was the first one? So I'm gonna give you uh, two minutes, right? A minute each. And I just want you to share with the person next to you what was on your list, what you feel comfortable to share, right? And then just talk about that process, about how you came to what you need to be, okay? All right, start it up. Simply, just by putting a list together, right? Here, everybody came in as creative, right? Does anybody here do UX design? Okay. Any artists? Anybody think this is an artist? Yes. All right, so on the front end, right, same title, same position, but now you realize that there's so many more layers to us, right? And all I said was just share on your list. I didn't do anything else. So I don't know if people were laughing and giggling, <laughs> right? But obviously there was a story that was happening from there, right? That was the first step. Now the second step is, somebody said, oh my God. <laughs> like I, I, I'm, in, I'm in Cambridge, MIT area. I know the process of elimination. I know what's gonna happen next. <laughs> I have a feeling. So what I want you to do now, with half your list, right? I want you to read it down to the neck, again. Cross off half your list. Oh my goodness! Let right, go half your list again. It's getting harder and harder, I know that. So you'd be like a bad person. <laughs> I promise you're a very good person. You're very good. Okay. This is not what I signed up for at 8.30 in the morning. I came for donuts. Good iced tea. All right. Anybody still working? Martha, come here. Ask. Martha, 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 Martha. Hi, Martha. How are you doing? I'm also introverted. I am, aren't I? Yes, ish. Okay, so turn over here. So what is, what, what, what's, tell me what's going through your mind right now about crossing this up. I didn't have a good list to begin with, and I think a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'm an introvert. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of a good list to begin with, and a lot of these things are like at the core of who I am. At the core of who you are? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So Martha, I'm gonna tell you the next step. Cross it down to three. Everybody. If you're down to three, if you're at three just for this one, get down to three. Whatever you can do to get down to three. No consolidating. Huh? Can you have the answer to say no? Gotta go to three. Why is it so hard? Why? I see a lot of like uncomfortable laughter, like, ah, this isn't so funny. This is painful. Okay. So, all right, so we're ideally, we're ideally at three. Okay? We're ideally at three. I'm gonna say this, it's actually very important. Is I laugh. I laugh about this. You know why I laugh about this? Because I went through the same process. And it wasn't easy, right? It wasn't easy. Okay. So now you're down to three. You're down to three. Cross off one more. Cross off one more. And don't worry. I want you to think about the process in which you are crossing these off. Okay? 
Okay. And you know, all right, so bring it in. Okay. All right. So at the moment, you have two left. And you have two left. And some of you are like, I have more, but I'm just not going to say that. Because <laughs> it's too hard. Not going to do it. Cross off one more. No, I'm not going to do it. So, as all of you are, as all of you are ideally at your number one, right? I want you to think about why is that your number one, right? And sometimes to think about how you got to that number one is, what's the difference between that number one and that number two? What made you make that decision? What made you when you first said, I don't know if there's any possible way that I can take one off when I put my first 20 down. And now you're that number one. All right. I must say, I'm not taking it away from you. It's all yours. You get to keep it. But what I find so crazy, and listen to this, is who found it challenging to come down to the number one? Who found it challenging? Every single one of us. Did anybody have one that was a number one that they didn't think that was actually be the number one? So the whole process that we went through, as we weaned it down into this number one thing that we are, is that this is my core. But realizing that these are all a part of us, is that we actually do this every single day and don't even realize it. We put ourselves into these boxes of who we're supposed to be. It might be our job title. It might be our sexual orientation, our race. And we put it down. And we're doing this for ourselves every single day. This is my whole core, my whole identity. But in the same way, we also do that to other people. Right? This is what I just see you as. But don't realize that it's such a much bigger story that you don't even realize. All right? So I was having a conversation with my girlfriend right here. I actually was sitting over here at first. And I was like, too close, move back a little bit. Um, and she says, well, what's kind of the, the message you're trying to send? And she said, um, well, I want to let people understand their why and how that can connect with others. And she said, is that kind of self-explanatory? And I was all like, um, no, no, no. As a matter of fact, it's, it's not. Because we do this each and every day. So when I went through this process, right, and I kind of chunked down the story is, you know that I'm, a, I'm an athlete, I was a professional athlete. And two years ago, I had to make a decision. And it's either if I was going to train for the 2016 Olympic Games or if I was going to run this uh, organization that I had called Empower to Play with Boop the Conan. And I had to make a decision if I could do either one of the two. And I chose to do this uh, sports diplomacy initiative in Haiti to help rebuild relations between the United States and Haiti. Right? Like, oh, whole life's going to change. I'm going to get this SB. It's going to be all make big impact, but it didn't work out as well as I thought it was going to be, right? There were these certain challenges that we were facing, right? We had sponsors that said they were going to come on board, then we actually got there, then they kind of just left us out to dry. Uh, when we went there, everybody was speaking English in our preparation, then when we went there, everybody spoke French. I don't speak French, right? And all the moment, we needed to come up with a whole bunch of money the night before, and I just didn't have this, this was my rock bottom moment. And then all of a sudden, I get a, a FaceTime call coming in. And it's my daughter. And she's super excited, daddy, 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 uh, guess what? And I was like, what, what, what do you want? And she said, uh, I drew your picture. And the picture was actually of me and her holding hands. And let me tell you. And cute picture. 
right? My little girl, right? three years old. A three-year-old let me realize, uh-uh-uh, daddy, you gotta get your life together, <laughs> right? At that moment, she helped me realize I'm not just an entrepreneur, but I'm also a father, right? I'm also a father. And as I was preparing for this talk, I was, was on the subway and I had this epiphany and I was, was thinking about how we have these stories that we tell each and every day. And, and how would we use these stories each and every day? So I got on the subway. And my goal this day was, I'm going to decide how I see people. Right? I'm going to make this decision on how I see people. So if I see you, I might say, well, he has a, a beard, or he's a man, or his shoes that are Reebok, right? So I was walking throughout the day, and I was just looking at different people. And I was just said, I'm going to decide how I see this person through the many layers that we have. And I was doing that for a while, and there's one in particular situation that really connected with. I remember I was sitting on the train, and I was typing on my phone, and I decided to look up. And this guy walked in, and he had a particular shirt on that represented his political affiliation. And it, <laughs> right? She got, I was like, oh, right? And, I, and it actually caused, a, a, personally, to feel a certain way. But I was sitting there, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna see him differently. So I began to scan a little bit, and then I noticed that he had a pair of drumsticks in his bag, and I'm a drummer. And all of a sudden, my mood changed. I got excited. Like I had, at the beginning, I had nothing to talk about, and then all of a sudden, I had everything to talk about because I decided to see him differently. And when I was on that train, we started to talk, and a good conversation ensued, and I actually missed my stop. And not only did I miss my stop, I went all the way to the end of the line because we were having a conversation. And what did I do? I turned back around, and I went back the other way. See, when we do this, in the world in which we live, and I would say this is the biggest problem in the world today, the number one problem, because of how we see people. Either you're a Democrat or a Republican, or you're black, or you're white, or an NFL athlete, or a police officer, but not realize that there's so much bigger story behind each and every one of us, right? And so for this talk, there's only three things that you get from all of this, right? Like how can you actually be able to use this? The first one is, I gave you a simple activity that you can do with yourself, again, or even with your family and friends, or you use a piece of paper and a pen, and you won't realize maybe some of the conversations that ensue, as well as better getting to know yourself. And so for me, I've done this a few times. Why? Because there's always a piece of the puzzle that is added every single time that you have an experience. But the second one is how we decide to see people, right? If you're seeing somebody, if you make the decision, I'm going to see them differently. Because if you can't see somebody, you're not going to listen to them. You're not going to understand their point of view, right? And when you do that, you don't realize the connections that can happen. That might not be on. And when you realize you can make these connections, right, um, you don't realize where that can really take you. And see, for me on the train, right, I was only supposed to go two stops. But I decided to go all the way to the end. So it's up to you about how long you want to see somebody in a certain way. Positively or negatively, I'm not telling you how to do that. But especially in this political culture, in this world in which we live, we decide to see people for the multi-different layers that all of us are, right? Maybe we can actually build some stronger connections. And then the third piece, and I got this you know, from Andy, as you're talking about, maybe just changing the conversation. Because most of these interactions happen in our first dive is, how was your day? Or what do you do? And maybe we can realize by asking maybe, how do you spend your day? Or tell me more about you, or what's your story behind your story? Maybe we can realize how far that can get us. So I just want to say thank you to the Creative Mornings team, to Sophia, 
So also Adam. Right. Remember that. For, for bringing me here today to talk to each and every one of you. We better get to know you. And so like I said, my name is AK. I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur, uh, a strategic storyteller, uh, an athlete, uh, a father. Uh, I'm also a guy that wants to play Scrabble, but I just can't spell. <laughs> But like, I'm an entrepreneur, and I can't even spell entrepreneur, right? <laughs> you laugh because you can't spell it either, OK? <laughs> you know it, right? So build connections. Be your honest self, because you may not realize the connections that you can build.